Good morning. This is Mike McCrickard with AMS. Wanted to show you Protractor and how you can use templates in Protractor to quickly create work orders. So let's go to Protractor. This is the Protractor prioritization screen. Some people might refer to it as the work in progress screen. We're going to come up here and click on the bottom half of the new work order button. This is all of my templates. I can select my 30k service. It's asking who the customer is. So I'm going to enter the customer's phone, phone number. I hit enter. This is the customer listed under the white pages. So I want to edit this and save it in my database. Uh, the contact for this customer is Scott Thorley. I can also enter his email address here. I click save and close and now Scott is saved under my location. I need to add a vehicle to him. So this is a North Carolina tag, AAN 1871. We click the binoculars. That license tag comes back and is registered to a 2012 Chevrolet Silverado with a 5.3. I know this is an LT vehicle and it's listed in the VIN number here, which is a seven for the engine. There's the seven. I click OK. It's entered the information here. I can come down. I know this vehicle is a black vehicle. I can enter the mileage or the fleet vehicle fleet unit number there. I click save and close. So now I've got the customer in the vehicle. I click select. So when I selected that vehicle, it has made a work order for this customer. And because this, this work order has an oil change on it, it's telling me that this truck takes six quarts and it takes a 5W30. So I click OK and it changes the engine oil to 530. It changes it to five quarts. So I want to look this up in my inventory. Here's my 5W30. I have 75 quarts in stock, so I can double click on this. Pulls the oil out of my inventory. And now I can go to my catalog and look up my oil filter. I can look up my wipers, my air filter, and my cabin filter. So I'm going to come up to the top and click catalog lookup. And this is just going to work its way through each one of these. I've got my default supplier as O'Reilly's. I want to look for the oil filter, so I click check beside the oil filter. It queries the store. I can select any of my other suppliers here. So I want to check one at the store here. So here's a good Wix filter I like. So I select that filter. I click apply. Now it's coming up here looking for the wiper blade. So I'm going to click check on the wiper blade. Or I could have done the refill either one. My store has 10 of these. So I'm going to select this Bosch wiper blade here. I click apply. Now it's looking up the air filter, so I click check beside the air filter. It's giving me my brands here. I like a good Wix filter, so here's the store brand. Or excuse me, the Wix filter that's in the store. I select it. I click apply. Now it's looking up the cabin air filter. I cl click check. I want to show only the items that are available. Cabin air filter cover. And nobody there has this. So I can switch to another supplier if I want to. This is a four-door crew cab. Now it's looking at CarQuest. Store has two of these. Scott's got the money, so we'll get the good one. We'll click Apply. And just that fast, I have my labor and my parts for the oil change, the tire rotation and balance, my windshield wiper service, my air filter, and my cabin filter, and a quote out the door. Now just how slick is that that you can uh, do all that for one customer just that fast? Thank you, and if you like Protractor or you already have Protractor and have questions, please call Automotive Management Solutions today at 1-800-566-9325. Thank you, and have a great day.